Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net. So the other day, one of my students asked me how to create the look of an EKG. You know, the graphic seen on a heart monitor in the hospital. And I realized that this is a common enough effect that it's worth sharing with the world, or at least the people who download this podcast. So here goes. In After Effects, let's add a new solid by choosing Layer, New, Solid. Just make sure that it's the same size as the composition and click OK. Then I'll select the rectangular mask tool and I'll use it to add a rectangular mask that cuts through the center of the solid and goes off the outer and bottom edges of the composition window. Then I'll activate the add vertex tool up here and then I'll add in four points along the top of the mask like so. Don't worry about keeping the spacing perfect. You can always go back and fix it later. Okay, once that's done, I'll activate the selection tool again, and then back in the comp window, I'll pull my second vertex up about two thirds of the way to the top. Then I'll take the third vertex and do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. Now you can see where I'm going with this, right? That shape is starting to look familiar. At this point, you may want to make some slight adjustments to the height or position of the vertices. Anyway, this looks pretty good to me, so I'll go down to the timeline, and if your mask isn't showing, select the solid layer and hit M to reveal the mask, and then click on the mask's lock to lock it, which also makes the mask's path invisible. Next, with the solid layer still selected, let's add the Vegas effect by choosing Effect Generate Vegas. The Vegas effect can be used to create lights that you might see on a billboard in Las Vegas or maybe for a Broadway show or perhaps on a sign at a somewhat disreputable establishment in a bad neighborhood. However, it can also be used to create a lot of different effects including a heart monitor. In the effects panel, set the stroke option to mask path which forces the effect to use the mask instead of the image contours. Next, twirl down the segment section to reveal several properties such as the number of segments, which are the lights, and things like the length of the segments and the rotation. For now, I'll just set the number of segments to one. This turns the little lights into one big light. I'll come back to this area shortly. Next, twirl down the rendering section. Here we have properties for controlling the way the segments look. I'll start by setting the blend mode to transparent which makes the solid layer invisible so that we can only see our Vegas effect. Next, using the color picker, I'll set the color to red. OK. Then I'll raise the width from 2 up to 20, which thickens up the Vegas stroke. Now, a problem I'm seeing here is that my Vegas light is thicker on the left side than it is on the right, and I want the reverse. Heart monitors, in my extensive experience as a cardiologist, go from left to right. So let's fix that. Set the start opacity to zero and then set the end opacity to one. Effectively this reverses the direction of the effect. Now let's just finish this up by animating the effect. To do that we just need to set keyframes for the effects rotation property. This property works on a system of degrees and rotations just like the actual rotation properties of a layer. It's nothing new. But as you raise the values the lights will cycle over and over. Keep in mind that the light is actually going completely around the mask we've created. We just can't see most of it because our mask runs off the edges and bottom of the comp window. That was on purpose. You see, while you can use this effect with an open path, if you don't use a closed path, in other words, a mask, the effect becomes a bit unpredictable, with a start and end point being fairly random. So if you were wondering why I made a closed path this way, now you know. Anyway, I'll undo my rotations here. And at the first frame of my timeline, I'll set a keyframe with a default value of zero rotations and zero degrees. And then I'll move down to the end of my timeline, in this case five seconds, and I'll set the rotation value to five rotations and zero degrees. A quick RAM preview, and it's looking pretty good. I do want to point out that right now there's never a point of full black on the screen. The pulsometer, which I know is not its actual name, always has some of our Vegas effect on the screen. But if you want to have some black, in the effects panel, you can set the segments length to 0.5 so that the light covers only half of the path, which means it will be hidden for some of the time as it rotates around the path and off the screen. Also, 
Just for kicks, you can add a glow effect by choosing Effect, Stylize, Glow. And in the Effects panel, I'll set the glow threshold down to zero, the glow radius up to 70, and the glow intensity to three. A quick RAM preview, and now it's looking even cooler. Hopefully this effect will help you on a project. If not, hey, at least my heart's in the right place. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.